What am I buying? MicroStrategy, Meta, Robinhood, Amazon, Alibaba, NVIDIA, and Tesla. And Netflix. Netflix is my favorite. Kobe? You don't want this Kobe. You don't want this Kobe. I don't think you can handle it. Baggy.py. You see, the mean reversion does provide some kind of hedge for my trend following portfolio. Order Order that is the good news. Order Order Just in case you're curious, let me expand this a little. I'll show you the amount of uh, stock. Let's see, buys, sells. Okay, do the buy amounts and the sell amounts. Okay. So the bot has, in the short time it's run, bought $2 million of stock and sold $2 million of stock. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty funny. Grand total, it's traded as three point. Let's see here. It's commission amount is probably <laughs> it's not a good amount. Ah, yes. Probably about a thousand dollars. Which I can get I can get that down at least cut in half. Probably get it closer to zero. So better better way to measure this is without that which is uh very fixable on my side. This is how you get better, guys. This is how you get better. Whatever this number is, we're gonna do it. Do it up. You know what I mean? Let's see if Rigetti is vulnerable again. You know, tomorrow will be better. You know, feel me? You smell me? You see me? Tomorrow will be better. We write the program. We make it better. Tomorrow will be even better. Might even be positive. Wait till my girl see the program. My girl like a, a hacker. She sit there, she hack it. So, oh, Shkreli, you made an infinite loop here. Program just is de destined to lose money. I fixed it for you. Thanks, bae. Love you. Love you, girl. And then it make money again. Backtest? Homie, we don't backtest. We don't do that. This Python, baby. Get to the money. One must sacrifice and lose the money. My girlfriend named Grok. G R O Q U E. <laughs> it's a very feminine name, okay? We can still trade board apes, yeah. I mean, overvalued might not be the right word, but it is a company in peril, and that peril. The outcome of that peril is really going to determine if it's worth anything in the long run. And uh, the way I would look at it is there's there's a call option in Chegg in the sense that if they ever figure it out, they'll they'll you know you get that call option. But I don't know that I trust management. I've been saying this since day one. I don't know the guy. I can imagine that he's just going to sink the thing and watch it go to zero. He doesn't have that dog in him. If I was the CEO, I got the fucking dog in me. I'll do whatever it takes to survive. You know? He, he, this guy probably doesn't even work on weekends. I'll be right back. Same actors. The botnet, they, they, we were target practice. They took us down as a, as a dry run for Twitter. For X. Believe me. Believe that. Dry run. I know this. 
order cancelled. What do you guys say? 5k, we pull the plug. Just fucking yank the plug. Hey, GI's gone too far! <laughs> Let's pull that shit. What is this? Oh, I'm getting errors. Hmm. Okay, we agree. 5k, we pull the plug. This is a very profitable day. No, I'll close them out. It's more, I mean, my eye on Q and Mergetti positions are basically my whole point. So this isn't the main show. No, no, Forex and Futures are fine. I just need to rework the logic. It's not very logical at the moment. Scaling it up was a mistake. Got too much power, it got to its head. I think the, the key mistake here is microstrategy. Everything else is actually, if you remove microstrategy and commissions, it's now, whose idea was it to have micro? I don't know, but when I find you, when I find you. 5K PNL, right now it's down 3,500. You have call options on Chegg, the whole company's a call. The fuck is it? I think it's less about the condition and it's more about it, there's always a buy and a sell price. Okay, 3200. Let's get back to work. Okay, so year your revenue growth for Proctor is a bad JavaScript here, up 2%. D723, 55. So yeah, $440 billion company, Proctor & Gamble. I remember when they were more like a 200 or a 150. You know, MBAs all want to work at Procter & Gamble. It's a legendary American business company. Legendary American business, I should say. Or company. Either, either one. So, 9 billion free cash flow for the year. Or, no, that's half a year. So, that's 7 billion free cash flow. Last year it was 8. So, 7 or 8, either 14 or 16 billion free cash flow. No growth. Another dog stock, 26 times earnings for no growth. Come on, man. Can't keep doing this. Okay. So, beauty. We got head and shoulders. Herbal essences and Pantene. I like that. It's my favorite. Uh... So that's hair care and skin and personal care. So they got Olay, Old Spice, that's Procter Gamble. Safeguard Secret. What's SK2? And Native. So they don't do much in the skincare. Neutrogena kills them in skincare. All right, grooming. You got Gillette. I remember when they bought Gillette, that was really controversial. Healthcare. It's all toothpaste, Crest. Uh, they also have Metamucil, Vix, Pepto-Bismol, and Neurobion. All right, fabric and home care. This is the biggest division. Downy, Gain, and Tide. Tide Pods, mm, that should be in food. Cascade, Dawn, Febreze. Mr. Clean, Swifter, Swiffer, 
uh, downy. All right, baby, feminine, and family. It's obviously a pretty big uh, franchise, the number two franchise. They have Tampax, kind of their big one. Uh, always Bounty, Charmin, Puffs, and Pampers. Big numbers for Pampers. All right, so that's the brands of Procter & Gamble. No growth anywhere to be found. I mean, it's a bond, you know, but it's, it's, you're paying bond safety for equity. S&P down 3%. How are we doing over here? Okay, down $2,200, a little bit better. Uh, value. Microstrategy is kind of the worst stock to market make because it's like the swings are just so wild. You just got to set the spreads higher. Right? Okay. Comeback King. Let's go. Or is it just long? I think it's just long. It's okay. I'll take the profits either way. Now only down $1,200. That's what I'm talking about. Net a commission, it's up. Net a micro strategy and commission, it's up a lot. This is like EBITDA. Adjusted earnings per share. Well, I'm adjust two or three little things here. Once you remove the biggest loss, plus add that back. I ain't gonna do that again, so add that back. Now it's good money. I'll include micro strategy if it starts being profitable. That makes sense, right? Shit, why not? I'll put this in the in the shared file. In the GitHub. Bray Braden, no, you do want volatility. You don't want one side shooting straight down or shooting because you get caught. You want it just back and forth, ideally. Anybody else smoking weed at work? Anybody else high as fuck right now? Tesla just... Hmm. Rough year for Tesla. Filled. 
order cancel. Order Deltas change more than maybe I appreciate. Wow. S&P down 3.2 percent. Order cancel. Order filled. Burn, baby, burn. Order cancel. Let's see how those Rigetti deltas have changed. Order cancel. Fives. Ninety-seven. Order filled. Okay. Sixes. Sevens are seventy four, seven and a halfs are sixty one, seventy four, and eight and a halfs are forty seven and thirty five. And let's see here nines and the lonely tens are twelve, twelve percent, well, uh, twelve percent delta. Lot. All right, well, with the price of those five calls, I was buying fives 316. A bit lower inside. I've sort of been keeping up. How about five and a half? Those are, I paid two, they're not 220 though. They're, it is, I paid 260. Substantial decline, but it's exactly what we want, right? Let's see what else we're up to here. The sixes trading in. <laughs> it's pretty widespread there. Oh, 180. Water filled. Down 3.2% on the SP. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on uh, market making. Not very good, I think. Down 4K. 